Heard cake is the best way to make money? Wondering if it's true? Need to know what is needed and how to get into a cake party? Well, let's jump into it. There are many videos and players boasting how great cake parties are and how much money can be made from them, but is it true? If a player can get into a cake party that has all 14 rolls filled and everyone is working quickly, 150 cakes can be made in about one hour. Currently, if you feed the cakes to a glowworm farm and sell the fur and worms, you can make between 92 and 96,000. The best part is you do not have to have the cake recipe and there is a chance you do not have to bring anything to the cake party other than yourself. Sound too good to be true? Well, yes and no. So I tested this. I tried to get into cake parties as the baker because as the baker, you do not need to bring anything to the cake party and it's just free go. After three hours of straight trying to get into the baker row and no hits, I gave up on that. I spent the next hour trying to fill any row. It always takes around 30 minutes to an hour to get into a cake party, even when I'm offering to take on any row. But why? And why is it so hard to be the baker? To understand this, you need to know how to get into a cake party first. Other than getting lucky and ending up in the same housing instance as a cake party is forming, your best option is to head over to the Polya Discord and go to the Looking for Group section. Newest messages are at the top and work their way down. Cake parties fill up in 1 to 3 minutes, so make sure you have your message copied so you can just paste it in there. Now you will need your in-game name and roles you can fill. One of the issues is the lack of cake parties. Currently during peak hours, they're only on average, that means sometimes more, sometimes less, but it averages out, to about 20 an hour. And during non-peak hours, it can drop to as low as 5 per hour. With only around 20 cake parties per hour, players are competing for spots. And there are only 280 spots available every hour. The odds of getting into a cake party are already pretty low. Of course, hosting a cake party guarantees you're in. The other issue with cake parties? They are the way you buy gold. So, if a player goes to a gold website and buys Alia Gold, the gold seller will host a cake party and put three of their buyers in the baker role. The great thing is, the gold seller can fill all of the roles with unknowing players and have the unknowing players provide all of the resources. So while the gold seller just watches everything, pretty sweet deal for gold sellers. Is this a bad thing? No, not really. There is no economy to mess up and as long as players are buying gold, gold sellers will keep hosting parties so more opportunities for everyone. It does reduce the number of baker positions available though, so be ready to be a leafer or some other role. The next issue with cake parties is the setup time. There has to be a conversation on how many supplies players brought, if they have moved extra resources to their locked vault, if players know their roles, waiting for other players to get friended and hop over from their lot, players needing to go FK for a moment, and so on. On average, it takes 25 minutes to get a cake party started once you're in. Now that we have the times, how does this add up to other gold making methods? So 2 hours and 15 minutes for 150 cakes comes up to 96,000 gold. Of course, you add in more active time if you have to farm sweet leaves, make jam, or buy the materials for baking. Well, let's just assume a player is a baker and only needs to put in 2 hours and 15 minutes of active time for 150 cakes. Something that needs to be brought up is, currently star and non-star cakes do the same amount of fertilizer and glowworms. The developers have said they are working on the gold cakes giving more, but for now, that is not the case. Although cakes made with apple jam do give slightly more fert and worms, but the value increase isn't really all that worth it. So 2 hours and 15 minutes of hunting and fishing should come up to around 28,000 gold. So cake parties beat that hands down. What about farming? Well, if we only look at active hours, farming for 2 and a half active hours makes me around $210,000. So for active hours, farming wins by a landslide. On top of this, if you're going to be able to fill as many rows as possible, you'll need to be making money to buy enough stuff for however many cakes they want to go for. Now most parties are for 50 times or 100 times. Now each cake makes 3 cakes, so 50 times would be 150 cakes, and 100 times would be 300 cakes. But let's say you want to be a leafer for a 50 times party. You would need a minimum of 50 leaves, so you do not need 
times three, this applies, it's just like most recipes, and produces three if everything goes well. So 50 leaves will take 30 to 50 minutes to collect, if you're jumping instances, even longer if you're not jumping instances. And if you need to fill a baker roll, then you need to make enough gold to buy enough stuff. If you're a jammer, then you need to enough jam, and so on. All of this takes time or money to build up. Then when you're at the cake party, players can also get cranky if someone is not going as fast as they would like. Having to what feels like begging to get into a cake party, then having to stand there doing one task for an hour or more, and having to deal with toxic players chewing each other out, makes cake party something I do not enjoy. If you're cool with dealing with that kind of stuff, then cake parties can be a good way to make gold instead of fishing or hunting. But cake parties are not the number one way to make gold in Polya. Do you enjoy cake parties? Let us know in the comments below. So anyone can join a cake party regardless of the level, and if they have the recipe, this is good and bad. It is good because it allows social interaction and friends to work together. It is bad because a lot of players are just getting into cake parties early on and getting all the gold they need, and they're not needing to host cake parties themselves. Once those hosting cake parties do not need the parties anymore, there will be a lull, or gap, in cake parties per hour. At least gold sellers will always be there to host them, right? Well, maybe not. While it is a sweet deal, it does require players to join in to make it worth it. Singularity 6 is working on a trading system. Once the system is implemented, depending on how it works, gold sellers may move away from cake parties. After all, Polya is not that hard to hack and they could just hack and bring in gold and sell it to you because if they're going to break the rules, why not hack to make the gold so it's even faster for them? There is also the issue with the lack of content in the game. After two months, many players leave and there are less and less new players joining. In the future, cake parties may drop all the way to 5 to 10 an hour or less. Hopefully, before then, something changes and players come back in. Still interested in a cake party? Well, now you know how to find them or host them. But what do you need to know to actually pull it off? Uh, there can be up to 14 positions. So let's say we're going to make 100 cakes. So 100 times, right? So in the end, it's really 300 cakes. We have the role of start the recipe player. So this person brings the recipe, of course, and the blueberries. So they need 100 blueberries. And then we have three bakers. Bakers bring nothing. Then we have four leafers. 100 leaves each. Three mixers. They need to bring 100 eggs, 100 butter, and 100 flour each. Then we have one froster. They need to bring 100 milk and 100 butter each. Then we have three jelliers. They need to bring 100 jams each. All of the mini games in cake making are very easy and it's hard to fail at cake making, so do not be too worried about if you cannot get the timing on different recipes. It's all just hold one button until done. What about making cake solo? Well, it'll probably take close to all five minutes to make a cake, so making cake solo will limit a player to around 36 an hour. Then if we take into account the value of everything going into the cake, and the cost of everything that you have to buy to make cake, versus the amount from turning cakes into worms, a player would make around 20k in profit. And the amount of active time sunk into making that 20k in profit would be around 4-5 to five hours, if we're being generous with the time. So cake is definitely something the devs meant to be done as a group. The more involved, the less it costs everyone. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Have an awesome day.